If you Google Antalya, I bet you will see this photo and also this one. But in this video, I don't want to focus on the things that everyone else is talking about. And instead, I want to tell you what surprised me the most and what I wish someone had told me before visiting Antalya. And if you're new here, welcome! My name is Vasi, I live in London, but I also love traveling. So if you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. And now back to our vlog from Antalya. Morning guys, we are heading off for breakfast and to have some coffee because we're quite sleepy. So let's check. 17th of July lots of sunny and this is our gorgeous breakfast at the hotel and this is included within the price so we didn't pay anything for it but as you can see like there are lots of baked goods so many cheeses uh, lots of veggies sweet things as well bread and everything was great apart from the coffee then you have more interesting things in here yeah i took one beach just really? to start yeah yeah <sighs> And fun fact, that's a double espresso. But I have to say, at most places where you go in Antalya, you can either get a Turkish coffee or if you ask for an espresso, it's going to be Nescafe, not an actual espresso, which is quite disappointing for a coffee lover like myself. Fun thing, it is 10.17 at the moment. And can you guess what's the temperature? 35. It's already 34 degrees and we're going out now because this is like one of the lowest temperatures for the day. Best of luck to us. So our plan for this morning is to have a walk here around the beach just to get a bit of an idea of this place. Maybe go to the supermarket because they need to buy some stuff. Plus it's so warm that Tampons. it... That I think at some point we will need like a near conditioning stop. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Are you happy to be here? I'm really happy to be here. Really, really blessed. Feel really blessed. Yeah. Watch out. Oh. Yeah. Something with which we really have to be careful around in here are like all the cars and motorbikes because they go quite fast. Yeah. I saw three kids on a small scooter, and none of them were wearing, you know. Uh, <laughs> A fresh helmet, but I think I think we need to get used to this the way of like people, you know, deal Definitely. with it. Like, yeah. One of the things which I didn't really like is that even though there are special pedestrian areas or bike lanes, you can see motorbikes or even small cars or pedestrians or people running literally in any of those. And this is just a very small part of the beach. As you can see, like there are a lot of cafes where you can, of course, pay and stay in there. But also the public area, it's quite big as well. But keep in mind, it won't be really comfortable as there isn't an actual sand. Guys, everything that you see over there and also all the way over there, ev all of this, it is Kanyauti Beach. I actually hope that I'm pronouncing this correctly, but this is like the main beach of Antalya and let me tell you, it's pretty great. The only thing which I'm not loving so much, it is the fact that it's not like pure sand, but most of the areas within this beach are actually with pebbles. Here we are getting used to the local lifestyle, just being super comfy and having a cup of coffee. I mean, not a cup, it's literally a glass, a huge glass of iced coffee. Ben got some jewels and we're planning to stay in here just to relax and also get a bit refreshed. Just for reference, this huge thing costs only 44 liras, which with the current exchange it is £2.10, which is quite the deal for this place. It feels like the beach in here is divided in three parts. First one, the people that pay for the sun beds and the umbrella. Second part, the one which go to the public beach. And the third one that don't even bring an umbrella and decide to sit here under the shadow of the trees on the grass. But let me tell you, the ones that sit on the grass feel like the most local ones and they have so much food. I think they might have like a three course meal in here. Pretty nice. I haven't seen anything like that anywhere else. 
Okay, and when I was booking the hotel, let me tell you, the thing which I care the most about is having a swimming pool and good breakfast. But I dare really realize how it looks from the outside. But let me show you, it's, it's quite funny. It's really tacky. <laughs> yeah, it's very tacky. Little update from us. We actually changed and we have, I mean, I have my bikinis on and we'll be heading off to the swimming pool at the moment. But just let me show you what I brought. I bought some snacks. I got like this two vegan bars. This one is with blueberries. This one and this is like totally not vegan. But I mean, we have to try it. It's like your typical vegan bar that you would usually get for two pounds in London. But since healthy eating here, it is still not so popular. Here it's pretty cheap. And this is how the swimming pool area looked like. Maybe a little bit too many golden details, but I cannot complain. It does the job. We just came back from the beach and they kind of cleaned the room and I think now it's the perfect time for me to show you to do a little room tour for you. As you can see we have like a huge mirror in here, the TV, also this other mirror, as you can see like there are plenty, with like the tea and everything, you can open it. We stocked up on water because it's really, really warm. Uh, yeah, sorry about the mess in here. And of course, this is the bed. But as you can see, everything has like golden details or like kind of fake gold, but it's okay. And now you know it's time for the ultimate bed test. Then it was finally 2 p.m. and we could go to a restaurant because until 2 p.m. restaurants are closed. The place where we are going it is called Akia Mezeve Mite, if this is how you pronounce it. And it is literally two minutes away from the hotel because at the moment it's just impossible to walk outside. It's really, really warm. And if you see there isn't like literally anyone else it's in just the street. Us, of course. It, it's just us as it usual. When we and Vasiji dress <laughs> exactly. in white. And we're gonna have some uh, some seafood and oh, nice. uh, and definitely mussels because actually I think the word midde this means mussels and it's actually quite typical for it here yes. so almost three o'clock so <laughs> I'm starving and this was my totally favorite restaurant in Antalya but there was a tiny little issue the owner didn't speak any English at all so for anything that we wanted to order we either had to point at it or we were writing at Google Translate what do we want so he would get it for us and then he would write his reply on Google Translate at all so it was a little bit of an issue to communicate but apart from that the food was absolutely delicious you scoop it you know the stuffed clam like the stuffed mussel in it and i was actually a little bit of shame of showing you how does the view from our hotel room looks like but i think it is time it's not necessarily what you imagine when you think of a hotel at the seaside Anyways, we had a little nap with Ben. It's and so hot, I wanna die. Yeah, at some point it was up to 40 degrees, but you were sleeping back then. But yeah, now we are ready to go and explore like the old city, the harbor and the rest of the city. <laughs> Let's get up together, one. The biggest question here is, how do we get to the old city? Because it is one hour by foot, 25 okay. minutes, by using the public transport, transport or nine minutes by car so how come going by car is twice as more than twice as fast as going by public transport <laughs> because there is a lot of public transport so you have to wait and then you have to walk and and all of this i'm kind of keen on trying it out but ben's fear it is that it's there's not gonna be aircon i'm a huge advocate for public transport as long as it works we got some cash and headed off to the bus station. 
Oh my god, guys, we arrived into the city center. How did we manage? We don't, you know. we don't know how yes, did we arrive in here. Basically, we wanted to take the bus. We went to the bus stop, but then at some point we realized but what about the tickets? Yeah, what if we cannot buy tickets from the bus? Exactly, and in my English style I said, Hi, you're right, can we, can we buy tickets on the bus? To the people that are waiting, and I was like, oh no, 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 no. I was like, all right, fine. Google Translate, they pointed at the supermarket. And so we were like, oh, we have to go to the supermarket, then buy get the, the tickets, tickets, and then the bus uh, comes every 20 minutes. So, so we're like, okay, let's get a taxi. The taxi driver didn't know where we were going, although so we were going we, to the city center. So all the way from like our hotel to here, I had to tell him where to go. But, straight but he left. But he didn't speak any English. So Zero English. I was like, straight, and he was telling me the word in Turkish and everything that yeah, we super. knew was super, super. super. So we kind of made it into yeah. here. But it, it but was only like five euros to get from the hotel to the like... Even less. Something like that. And if you want more travel tips or just to hear about my adventures, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. And one of the things which you should totally do when in Antalya or really anywhere in Turkey, it is getting Turkish ice cream because it is such an experience. And until the moment that you have it in your hand and you're eating it, you don't really know if you're actually going to get your ice cream. Opala, madam. Yes, please. Opala, ice cream. Yes, please. Opala. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Consistency is totally different. Very cheesy, I'm saying. Like mozzarella. I feel like in the end we're going for some street food because we got the gelato and also this corn and we're just... This corn. This corn, you know. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what's the word in English for the way we, which is prepared. It's kind of like burnt. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's not the way of preparation. The way of preparation? <laughs> but but it's, it's, it's really tasty, I like it. In Italy we actually have them boiled, but you know, roasted is fine as well and uh, it's tasty, it's, it's healthy, you know. It's a bit salty and it's vegetarian, veggies, you know. Good vitamins even. Uh, and it was one pound. And here in the old city you also have another beach which is called Mermeli. But the thing about this beach is that you don't really have any sort of uh, sand or not even rocks. So you kind of have to jump directly from your sunbed into the sea. Quite an experience. Okay, here we have some boring salads, but here we have the meat. Something which I love is that they have the photo of everything. Oh yeah, oh my god, the, the special. And it says for how many people? One per for one hungry person. Wow. For one person? What do you mean? What do you mean for one person? Fair, fair, yeah, of course. In the end, Ben decided to go for a dinner, which is like what we call kebab internationally. Since I don't eat meat, I decided to go for a salad, but let me tell you, it was a little bit disappointing. There was way too much vinaigrette, too little olive oil, there was a lot of cheese missing, so yeah, let me tell you, it's not like a Greek salad. I'm just gonna show you how this heaven for me looks like because baklava is my all-time favorite dessert. If you want more of a chill evening, it's actually better to go to Kanyauti Beach and to the bars and restaurants around because let me tell you, going to the Old Marina, it was a little bit overwhelming. There are a lot of people that try to sell you any kind of thing and it was in general quite crowded and overwhelming. <laughs> Some sick